Hey everybody, it's the last Robokai here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising. Last time we poked around and, you know, where we went and fought the Tyranids at the end of the last campaign, and uh, we got payback on the Avatar of Cain for the first time, we had a little bit of a rough go with him. And, and uh, fuck, it was sweet. Yes. And then we went on a bit of a bender for a week, and, uh, you know, like... I, I woke up, I couldn't find my, my lower power armor or anything like that, so it's been a bit of a hunt for that. So, uh, jo joining me now as we get things back on track. I'm Cool Guy, and I told him that Adeptus Auroritas was bad news. Ah, oh dear. <laughs> so, we, we're ready to roll. We've got, we've got one of the more fun missions coming up, because there's a whole lot of crazy shit going on, and as the name suggests, a brother's return, so something's coming down, so... Let's let the mission briefing let us all know how it's going to be going. We have an urgent message from Planet Typhon. It comes from Tech Marine Martellus. We thought him lost in the Tyranid War, but he survived. He needs your help, Commander. Tech Marine Martellus, to any Blood Ravens capable of receiving, I am transmitting from the Astronomical Ray Station in the Typhon Islands. Orc looters have been a recurring threat since my arrival. However, at dawn this day, I detected a graver threat. Chaos Space Marines. I fear they want the Array for themselves. I risk damaging the Array by sending this message. But I require support. Mars and Terra, power levels are drop. Oh, well, things seem to be a little bit, uh, a little bit troubling for there, but hey, Mattelis is alive. You know what that means. Means we gotta go rescue him because he's our buddy. Yeah, we gotta go get our buddy back. No brothers left behind. Indeed. So yeah, this is ah, look at him go. He's already getting shot at. <laughs> and only, the... <laughs> only living when you're being shot at. He's been fighting for a while now too. Like he sounded really tired. I love like Steve Bloom did an excellent job voicing that sequence because like Paul Martellus just sounds like he's been there for way too long. Well, it's been months. Yeah, and I mean, he got shut down in a Thunderhawk for God's sake, so who knows what condition he's in. Condition to be rescued. Martellus, are you receiving? Sergeant Tarkas! Thank the Omnissiah! I am defending the Array, but the Traitor Legions are here! Retribution. Prepare to provide close support. All right, and hey, An remember the spot. forces are coming under attack. Kind of looks like where we fought the Lictor, doesn't it? I have A little bit. The voice of power. Yeah, yeah. This is this is basically the the map um, turned one way. Also, we've got a couple of we've got a couple of havocs over here that I'm gonna try to bomb out of existence. Yeah, go for it. Just you know, don't waste too much of them because we're going to need them to defend the everything. Yeah, they're. I, I, I don't think anybody wants to deal with those guys, though. <laughs> oh, we gave everyone a good exploding, so there we go. Oh, there's some more guys up here, but that's okay because. Force Commander, run down. <laughs> also, uh, I've given Jonah back Ignite Soul, uh, the Ignite Soul armor that makes Ignite Soul make things explode. I haven't gotten rid of his ability to throw down vortexes of horrible murder every bomb in your own team, though, so uh, we'll still be seeing a bit of that. I've never used it before. Because I'm not the one in control. <laughs> well. Oh, sniped out of midair, very nice. And and as you all may have noticed, Thule is packing the multi melter, which is, uh, <laughs> which is always fun. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Boom! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear that. Oh, it's already cleared. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, Jonah, clear that building, and he goes, okay. And I was like, no, no, I want to choose the other thing. He's like, nope, I know what's best. I'm the librarian here. I'm a professional. Purge the enemy. It's just. It's always good to have him along because everything friggin' explodes. Oh, a demon. Well, I'm okay with killing the demons. Martellus! Oh, he did alright. We must revive him. Well, considering we have infinite revives, yep, that's fine with me. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, don't knock me over, Joe Cole. <laughs> he comes! Oh, 
<laughs> and that was ridiculous. Thanks, Commander. I'm glad to see you again. We had thought you lost when your Thunderhawk went down, Martellus. I should. How did you survive? A story for another time, Tarkas. The heretics will surely try for the array again any moment. <laughs> we cannot okay, stay gonna here defending this relic for all eternity, Tech Marine. Agreed, but we cannot leave the valuable data in its cogitator for the enemy to take. Strike Cruiser, this is Tech Marine Martellus. Deploy power generators in the following coordinates. We Fear not the Psyker! Luckily we've well, got so many ways to give the enemy, it's not even funny. The time is now, brother. Go, buddy. Your chaos force is targeting me! <laughs> Alright, uh, it's, it's good. just good to get back in the Now the array is powered, I can initiate a cogitation transfer right to secure the records. Just keep the enemy from destroying those generators. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna get assaulted a lot, and we're gonna have to keep these things going. Also, oh, that flicker. <laughs> um, probably pop one down. Okay, I've got some bombs and some cluster mines out. Mm -hmm. Too bad we don't have uh, the ability to pop those with energy. Oh, you mates! This orcs. place belongs to the orcs. Green skin looters. A fight on two fronts, then. The enemy has targeted one of our turrets. Yeah, the uh, the fight on this front isn't really much. I mean, <laughs> seriously, shoot a boys at this point. Yeah. It's just a Commander, the orcs are using a gate to access the complex. We should seal it. Brilliant. The greenskins will just go around, Cyrus. Exactly. Directly into the traitor space marines. That's why Cyrus is a fucking genius. While he does that. Oh, the Yumi's don't close the gate! <laughs> then go and the so other sad. way, you kids! And kill every Yumi you see! I'm gonna drop a vortex on those guys. Yeah, the, those, the those, uh, those Havocs are kinda asking for it. Have some fun, fellas. Ah, oh, look at him get flying back into it again too. Hope is the first step of my ammo already in motion. Look at him die, it's beautiful. Look at those heartbroken orcs over there just having to go around the long way. Treat all who oppose me shall fall. I don't want to overextend myself. Uh yeah, you don't want to get too far out there, cause uh that is Hope that's is a bomb. The first step on the road to disappointment. A bomb? <laughs> and look! Now everyone's having fun over there. Whoop! Cyrus is out of here! No. More troublemakers. Unfortunately, we've got the power of genre exploding everything. God damn, it's like... The enemy falls. Not even Cyrus can, uh, can match that. He's sitting over here jealous. Passive ignites, passive explodes. Green skin oh, those guys are hiding back. Oh! Well, some of those missiles went down that hole. That's a very nice little touch. Let's see what multi melt a sweep does. Where is he? I wanna watch. Oh, there he is. He's gonna. That's it! Look at that go! Holy Christ! Oh, no. I have gathered several valuable relics from the wreckage of my Thunderhawk. They are in a storage area a short distance away. Oh, I know where it's that possible, is. We should recover these items before they are looted by the orcs. That sounds like a job for Cyrus. You sure? I think this is actually one of those circumstances, but this is a job for the Force the Commander. Alright, bring him on then. I'm just saying that because. Uh oh! I will not. I am Jonah's going down. Healies! Let's keep popping these jerks. Oh, you jerks. 
I got an answer for that, and it's called Vortex. Heavy fire and that's why I recommended the Force Commander, because look who we got over here. A weird boy. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Yeah. I must tend to one of the damaged generator space marines. Oh. I am yeah, cover. Right cover. Oh yeah! They looking for a fight! This weird boy's taking a while, but that's okay. We're, we're okay. The dude with the missile launcher pisses me off. <laughs> Don't they always? There can be no mercy for the traitor! What are we doing over here? Well, the structure's dead at least. The first commander kind of exploded it. Commander, I Chaos Red. Some power into the array's capacitor, Dave. Oh. Discharging it will slow the enemy, but will severely damage the array. Using this false could mean losing the array for good. And there's our morality choice. Do we or do we not want to kill this guy? Oh, foot coming down. Oh, he's doing it again. What an idiot. What are you doing over here? Chaos <laughs> yeah, Predator. Chaos yeah, Predator, okay. I, oh, and that as well. That's gonna be a job for Thule. Did we get it? Yes! Oh, hell in heaven. Salvaged gear, okay. We got a blood crusher over here too. Okay, I'm getting the Force Commander back to base. That took a little bit longer than I would have liked. Attack me in close combat for you. Use your oh god! Uh, I think Jonah's dead. Yep, Jonah's down. I am, I am busy micromanaging school, so I can't see too much right now. That's okay. I was trying to heal him, but he got stun locked by this guy. Oh Jesus. That, Force, that is For another, uh, Force Commander is back. Force Commander is back. He's gonna close. Oh, down, down goes Jonah again. Call to arms! Ah, everyone's making me fall over today. I'm gonna go over and get this jerk off. Well, I would if I stopped falling over. Ah, oh, man! Thule as well! And I can't yeah, stop getting knocked I over. Ah, oh, is that Chaos Auto Cannon? Thule is up! Machine door. Man, this is getting crazy. Come here. Come here while I am Shona's caught in the middle. Huh? Fucking, that's it. That is it. I've had enough of it. No, get out, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> Jonah has officially had enough of your shit. <laughs> Green skins. <laughs> I gotta go over and get that blood crusher because he's. Another you me to kill. What is this? Oh. Oh, playing Marines. Oh dear. Okay. Plan one: get rid of blood crusher. Plan two: get rid of. Okay. Okay, blood crusher's history. We got some huge chopping knobs over here. Kaboom! Yeah, he'll be. Plague Marine will be coming. Yep, I can see him. No, what are you doing? Don't run backwards and forwards, you giant. Kill it. Lord. Oh, God. Get the fuck out of there. Get the, get the Force Commander out of there. I can't. What's going on? I don't. Oh, I see him. I see him. There's that Sir, you are getting it. One of our generators is under attack. Also, uh, Jonah's gone down again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> down like a chump. He's up. Berserker is killing me. Ah, the plague, the plague cloud. Don't bother Thule. Oh God. Stop putting your big plaguey thingies on top of my my delicious. Join up or whatever. Ah, oh, look at that plague cloud waft. It's like a moving vortex. 
I'm gonna hide behind here and attack him. Oh god, what did he just do? No, don't stand, Jonah, don't stand there. He keeps wanting to melee things. I have set him to range. It makes no sense. Yeah, I don't think so, but Oh! What is he doing? He's drawing something from our dead guys. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Fall back. Thor was, Thor was sitting on a was sitting on some kind of plague bomb, but he is mechanical, so it doesn't matter. Get stunned, stay stunned, eat a dick, you stupid, uh, you stupid champion. Hope is the first step on the road to disappointment. Let's charge in him and give him another one. Good lord. How many? The fact we only lost one generator and all that actually kind of surprises me. <laughs> well, yeah. considered. There we go. Ooh. Eat all uh, of my ass. Not even the deepest tyrannid hive was <laughs> as foul as that scum. That's a nice waterfall. Indeed, Avatus. Commander, Cogitina recovery is complete. We can safely leave this place. Now you can tell us the story of your survival, Martellus. Yeah, we, we didn't actually get a chance to say it in the in the thing, but you're, the because everything was just going crazy at once. But the corruption option for that mission was you could just wipe out huge swaths of enemies by using the uh, the astronomic array uh, and overloading it. The problem there being that if you do it, you know, once you severely damage it. If you do it twice, you destroy it. Which uh, you know, if you're trying to you know be pure, it's you know it's trading power for for purity basically. <laughs> we did it, you know. Jonah kept falling over, but that's what Jonah does. And that's exactly what uh, why Cyrus has uh, has unlimited healy packs. <laughs> yes. And hey, look, we got some blessed lightning claws, which is nice. We've got a uh, Terminator assault cannon, which will come in handy, and we've got some salvaged weaponry that uh, the third will be able to vote into what we turn that into, which is nice. And a whole bunch of other stuff. So I should probably start screenshotting this because screenshotting. Oh, and some salvaged armor as well. Well, that's nice. And, of course, some really horribly corrupt uh, <laughs> flamer that spews pestilence instead of flames. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, you know, let's, let's, give it, let's give it to the Force Commander. Sounds like a good idea. All right, it, it's time for some stuff to happen. Just sounds like a bad idea. Thank you for your timely intervention, Commander. I will initiate the repair rights for the items you have recovered. In particular, I shall restore our Terminator armor. Commander, I have been reviewing the data we recovered from the Astronomic Array. I believe the ancient Space Hulk designated Judgment of Carrion is about to appear in this sector. It may allow us to identify our traitor. Should you require more information, I am at your disposal. Yeah, Judgment of Carrion. Oh, that sounds ominous. And, uh, that's going to be our next goal, but... Well, before we get into that, we've got a little bit of a talky time from uh, from Martellus. Let's go with Avitus, though, because I think he has something to say uh, to Martellus about what exactly has been going on. Just how did you survive, Martellus? Yes, a good question. As you may recall, I was aboard a Thunderhawk during the climactic battle with the Tyranids. I also recall it being blown from the sky. A Thunderhawk is a resilient craft. Instead of destroying us outright, the Tyranid attack sent us into a desperate dive into the jungle. My brother Pilot used all his experience to guide us into the highlands, where the infestation was less severe. He did not survive the crash landing. I was left alone. No transmitters survived, and my own cybernetic enhancements were severely damaged. It took me months to successfully enact the repair rights to regain my mobility. I spent the rest of the past year battling my way through to the Astronomic Array. Your perseverance does the chapter proud, Martellus. Perhaps. But I am glad to be in the confines of a mighty strike cruiser once more. Yeah, he's had a pretty rough year by the sounds of things. I mean, <laughs> it's been... What a freaking baller! Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody talks about duty. Martellus just went completely above and beyond... And uh, I mean, he's that's just that's that that is that is up there with the dude who cut off his own arm just because he was like fuck dying. Martellus was just all about fuck dying this last year. He had to rebuild himself. Like 
<laughs> That's and he didn't have the technology. He's probably like not like ninety percent of his cybernetics are probably like stuff he peeled off the Thunderhawk. If you think about it. More than likely, that's I'm, really the only raw material he's had to work with. Which is really, which is really why I think it's a shame that like he hasn't exploded that further and like attached to like a you know a Thunderhawk engine or anything. Because I would like to see him just fly around. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would probably be a uh, tech heresy, though. And yeah, so everyone's been talking about the judgment of Carrion now. This thing that's just you know suddenly no one's heard anything about it. So uh, I'm going to let Martellus explain to us what exactly this Judgment of Carrion thing is. The Judgment of Carrion is a conglomeration of ancient vessels which have become adrift in space and time. It travels at random, spending decades or even centuries in the warp. If I may, its travels are not entirely random. Only the Emperor can know what horrific planes the Judgment of Carrion has visited. But its recorded appearances have all been in this sector or in one of its neighbors. Yes, and because of that, the Astronomic Array had a detailed record of past appearances. A distinctive pattern of warp anomalies preceded each appearance. And that pattern is occurring again. Precisely. How does any of this blather help identify the traitor? The machine spirit aboard the Retribution is not sufficient to remove the masking on the message you recovered. But there are references to a far more ancient and wiser logic engine aboard the Judgment of Carrion. With it, I can identify the heretic. And while I would normally sort of say, hey everybody, thanks for coming, we're gonna leave it here, I think we, I think we should go let everybody know, since, you know, it's been two weeks, sh show them exactly what the Judgment of Carrion is going to look like before, you know, before we close <laughs> it off. Because, um, yeah, look, let's just, let's just go and show this off. I, I feel this is, I feel this is important. <laughs> I concur. And, and, and let's just, you know, I jump through the warp once more. Your cursed ship is hiding, Tech Marine. Hold your tongue, Avidus, and open your eyes. The Judgment of Carrion. Commander, I have uncovered another transmission from the traitor. We should review it before launching another mission. We'll get to that, but that that'll be next time. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the Judgment of Carrion, and uh, we're going to be going aboard that, and uh, we'll explain more in the next episode of why that's a really horrible idea. So, uh, oh. I've been the last Robo Kai. And I've been cool guy. And uh, we hope you'll join us next time when we go and run through Let's Play Space Hulk. <laughs>